Hello friends, welcome to MSFT Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps to configure Network Load Balancing in Windows Server 2016. In this example, we'll be creating one NLB cluster from two nodes, NLB1 and NLB2, which will be hosting an IIS website. First of all, let's understand our lab scenario. For this NLB demo, I will be using total three servers, which is one domain server and two member server. So this is the, our first node name NLB01 and as you can see the assigned IP address to this server is 192.168.49.111 and we have another NIC with the IP address 10.10.10.111. Let's move to our another node that is NLB02 and as you can see the IP address 192.168.49.112 and 10.10.10.112. This IP address is configured on this Windows Server 2016 server. Uh, before we continue with the deployment, we need to verify our website functionality. So let's open Internet Explorer and let's type colon NLB02. Okay, as you can see, this is the default home page for NLB02 web server. Let's move to NLB01. Okay, this is the home page for NLB01 of web server. So after this, we can see uh, on a both server, IS website is working properly. So in the next step, we need to install NLB services on our both server. So let's open server manager and on server manager, click on manage, select add rules and features, click on next. Select role base of each base installation and then click on next button. Here I'm going to select our local server that is NLB01 and click on next button. Click on next on a select server role page. On select features console we need to select network load balancing. Okay select this. Click on add feature. Click on next and click on install to start the installation process. We need to perform the same steps on our another node. So let's move to NLB02 and let's go back to Server Manager Console. Click on Manage. Select Add Rules and Features. Click on Next button. Select Role Base or Feature Base Installation and then click on Next. Select our local server and that is NLB02 and then click on Next button. On uh, Select Server Role Console, just click on Next button. To continue and on select features console, we need to select network load balancing. Click on add features, click on next and click on install to start the installation process. As you can see, NLB feature has been successfully installed on this server. Let's click on close to close this console and let's move to NLB01. Okay, let's click on close. So now uh, we have successful install NLB feature on our boot server. After installing network load balancing feature on all the participating NLB nodes, our next step is to configure network load balancing. So on server manager console on our NLB01 node, I'm going to click on tools and then I'm going to select network load balancing manager. Once you open Network Load Balancing Manager Console, you have to right click on Network Load Balancing Clusters and then you have to select New Cluster. Now here you have to specify the name of your host which you want to connect. For this demonstration, I'm going to specify the name of NLP02 node. Let's click on Connect. Here we can see a total 2 interface that available for configuring a new cluster. For this demonstration, we are going to select Ethernet interface. Let's click on next. Here we have uh, options to select priority also known as a unique host identifier. I'm going to select priority 10. You can select as per your requirement. Now here we have uh, one more options for initial host state. Now the default state is started. And if you want to change to uh, stopped or suspended that time you can select from here. I'm going to select started and then I'm going to click on next button. 
Now here we have to add one cluster IP address. So that's why I'm going to click on add button and let's specify one IP version 4 address 192.168.49.120. We're going to use default subnet mask. That's why I'm going to select 255, 255.255.0. We are not going to use IPv6 address, that's why I'm not going to select this box. Let's click on next. Now here you have to specify full internet name to your cluster. For this demonstration, I'm going to specify name www.mylab.local. Remember, if you want to access this cluster with this internet name, your DNS should be able to resolve this name. So after creating cluster, we have to manually create host record for this name. Uh, here we have options for cluster operation mode like a unicast, multicast or IGMP multicast. For this demonstration, we are going to use multicast mode. Let's click on next. Now here we have a predefined port rules starting from port number 0 to 65535. I'm going to remove this and here as you can see we have a affinity mode to single. Let's remove. Let's add new rule. I'm going to specify HTTP port 80. Okay, let's click on OK button. And again, I'm going to click on add. And this time, I'm going to add port number 443 for HTTPS. Okay, so here you can see we have a total two defined port rules. Let's click on finish. Okay, the icon color of the added NLB node should be green. Now here, we can see uh, NLB02 has been successfully updated to our cluster. Now let's again select our cluster www.mylab.local, right click on it and select add host to cluster. Now I'm going to specify the name of our NLB01 node. Let's click on connect. Select Ethernet adapter and then click on next. Okay, here I'm going to select priority. 11. Let's click on next and as you can see we have uh, two defined port rules for our cluster. Let's click on finish. Okay, here you can see uh, both nodes status is converge. Now uh, I'm going to open network connection property first because I want to show you something. Select Ethernet adapter, right click on it and select properties. Here uh, we can see network load balancing feature is uh, selected and uh, if we click on internet protocol version 4 and select properties click on advanced here you can see we have uh, multiple ip addresses 192.168.49.111 and the ip address which we assign to our cluster is there 192.168.49.120 let's cancel this and let's move to our NLB02. Uh, let's open network connection properties on this node as well. Select properties. Select internet protocol version 4. And if we click on IP settings tab, here you can see this IP address is assigned on the both server at the same time. And that is only possible when you are using network load balancing in Windows servers. Okay, let's cancel it. Now it's uh, testing time, but before we go for testing our NLB cluster, first of all, I'm going to add DNS host record on our domain controller. Okay, this is our uh, DNS manager on our domain controller. Let's uh, create new host record for www.mylab.local and the IP address which we assign to our cluster is uh, 192.168.49.120. Let's click on add host. Okay, host has been added successfully. Let's click on done. Now, first of all, I'm going to open command prompt and I'm going to ping the IP address 192.168.49.120. Okay, if you are not receiving a replace, maybe the reason now will be a firewall that is a preventing ICMP packets. Okay, uh, let's ping to www. 
mylab.local. Uh, we just want to make sure that our DNS server is resolving the IP address for www.mylab.local. Okay, as you can see, uh, the IP address has been successfully resolved. Okay, now it's uh, testing time. So I'm going to open Internet Explorer and in uh, address bar, I'm going to type URL www.mylab.local. Okay, here we can see uh, we are currently connected to NLB01 cluster node. Okay, uh, for testing purpose, let's come back to uh, NLB Manager Console. Uh, select NLB01, right click on it and uh, let's select temporary. We are going to stop the functionality of NLB on our NLB01 just for testing purpose. Okay, so now our NLB01 is not connected. So if user try to access www.mylab.local, user will be accessing NLB02 instead of NLB01. Okay, let me close this uh, Internet Explorer first. And let's again open Internet Explorer. Let's type www.mylab.local and here we go now the request is forwarded to NLB02 server because NLB01 server is currently not available so in this way NLB will be balancing load between our both web servers NLB01 and NLB02 now let's uh, again Come back to Network Load Balance Manager Console, right click on it and select Start. Okay, as you can see, uh, both nodes are in a convert status. Let's again go back to our domain controller. Let's close this and let's again open Internet Explorer. Let's again type URL www.mylab.local. And here we go. Still, we are connected with NLP02. So that concludes the uh, video demonstration on uh, how to configure network load balancing in uh, Windows Server 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.